Wardy, a pulsating game and how will you view that point in the end? Uh, yeah, very good point to be fair. Um, you know, we did, obviously we came here wanting the three points, but, um, you know, it was a tough game they scored late on. Um, so yeah, we'll take the point. The performance on the whole, what do you make of it? Um, yeah, I thought we did very well. Um, you know, we, we, uh, we did, we, we came here to, 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 you know, take out our game plan and, and we did well. Um, we did the things that, you know, we worked on in training, um, exploited, you know, their, their weaknesses. Um, and yeah, overall it was a, it was a good performance. Did you work on that striking training, that move for your <laughs> first goal? Yeah, to be fair, I've scored a few over them over the years in that, that, that sort of position. So, um, yeah, we knew there was going to be space in that, in that area. Um, so it was just a case of, you know, getting the pass and, and getting in that area and then taking the opportunity. How sweet did it feel to make your first for Derby County? Yeah, very good. You know, I've been waiting a, a little while for the first goal. So it was, um, you know, a few of the lads were saying, oh, you get to score tonight and all that. So yeah, um, I felt good going into the game and I, I felt like I was going to score. So, you know, yeah, scoring felt great. Um, and, and getting a point was obviously good as well. It's the old cliche about buses, isn't it? You wait ages for one to come then, two come at once. Could you believe your luck when that second one found the bottom corner? <laughs> nah, to be fair, you know, I just, I got in a good area and, and, and you know, I, I don't turn down a shot. So took the shot and, and luckily, um, got a little deflection, but, um, went in. Um, so then I was, I was hoping to get my hat trick, but, um, yeah, um, it's good to get two goals. You know, it's good to score all the time. Um, and, and ultimately get a point. Is that something that's worked on taking shots from distance? Because, like you saw today, a little knock, and you never know yeah. where it might end up. I think definitely, yeah. The gaffer goes on about all the time, you know, getting the shots off and that, and especially in these conditions, it just zips off the off the grass. So, um, yeah, you, if you don't shoot, you don't score. So, talk to me about these conditions and in this atmosphere and the environment tonight. It really was a cracking advert for League One football, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was it was a crazy game. Um, it was it was it was raining so hard. Um, pitch was boggy. You know, some passes were. We're just bouncing out of play, zipping off the off the grass, and some and some were just holding up. So um, sometimes we just had to go a little bit longer and, and play the conditions. But um, yeah, it was a difficult game. The conditions sort of add to the unpredictability of the game, and really improve sort of the spectacle of it in a way. Definitely, yeah. You know, we just had to play, like I say, play the conditions a bit, and um, at times go a bit longer and, and hook things on and stuff. But um, yeah, it, it was a tough game, um, and I'm glad we got the point. Yeah, points big. It keeps things in your hands for the rest of the season with four games to go. How quickly does focus move on to Wickham now? Yeah, it'll be straight away. Straight away, this game's gone, you know. A little bit of rest, but um, ultimately the, the, the next game is massive um, and we'll look to go and get three points. Yeah, what's the mood like in there? I'm sure having things back in your hands, making sure it is staying that way, everyone's probably in very good spirits in there. Very good spirits, yeah. You know, it, it just keeps us going, you know, keeps us motivated. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, we'll look to get back into training, um, and look to just just keep rolling on and on and, and picking up points to to try and get the promotion. We spoke about these fans before that travel with you up and down the country, live on Sky Sports. They've still come and sold out that away end, even on horrible nights. Just a word on them. Unbelievable, yeah. Like home games, unbelievable. Away games, unbelievable. All the time, you know. Um, they they're going to be massive for us going forward for the for the next for the next few games. So um, yeah, appreciate their support and and hopefully we can get them what they want at the end of the season.